I am slightly aching from our long walk on the moor yesterday but it was just so lovely. I, I do love being up on the moor anywhere in nature where it's not too peopley. So um, yeah, it was, it was really worth it. I think we're going to try and do that a bit more often. The, the trick round here is at the moment is to go out nice and early, which is good for us because we're always up early. So anyway, um, I'm just going to sit and watch the sun for a little while and go inside and have my tea and get ready to go to Totnes. Hello. So we are in the car about to go to Totnes. It's eight o'clock, well just before eight o'clock, so we're hoping to get there nice and early and avoid the crowds. We've just arrived in Totnes and we're parked right down in the very furthest car park um, down by the river. So we're going to walk all the way along the river and then I think we're going to kind of walk all the way along the river to the station which is kind of beyond the town and then loop back to the top of the town which is where the market is and then work our way down the high street and then back to the car. So it should be really good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, Totnes is one of my favourite towns actually. It's really quirky, there's lovely places to eat and drink and yeah, I really like it. We come here quite often. Um, I like to meet my mum here and I come here with my friends as well, as well as with Martin. Um, yeah, it's it's lovely. So I'll try to do a bit of filming in the town if I can to sh to show you. This is the river dart at Totnes. There's boat yards across there. And we're just gonna walk down this way into the town. It's actually a really nice walk. The river dart is tidal. Is it up to here it's yeah. tidal? So there's not much water today. I don't know when high tide is. Another day and another hill. <laughs> We're just coming up to the top of the town now, by the castle yep. I think. Yep, Totnes Castle. Totnes Castle, through the archway. There's some quite interesting buildings and houses and things in Totnes. We're not sure what that chimney thing is in the background, but I thought I'd film it anyway. Castle. I think it's English heritage. We've never been and we are not planning to go today. I don't even know if it's open it's not today. not open until 10 at the earliest and I don't know how much they charge. <laughs> We've already paid £2 for parking today so. That's our budget. They've got lots of mint growing everywhere in Totnes, which makes me think of tea whenever I see it. There's some really interesting looking books in this bookshop, but unfortunately it's shut. I could probably spend hours in there.
We're back from Totnes now. I had a really good walk, actually. Um, it's quite an interesting walk. The river and the, the town and everything, quite like the contrast. Coffee was lovely. Um, yeah, I got a few books as well in the in the charity shop, which I'll show you in a minute. I don't know if anyone else is an avid reader, but if you've got any good um, book recommendations for me, leave them below in the comments, please. I'll try anything. I love reading, so I was really pleased I got four books. I've um, got lots of sort of paperworky things to do now, bits and bobs, a couple of phone calls to make this afternoon, and some orders for Auntie Emma's Devon shop. So we've got a pretty busy afternoon, but the sun's come out now. And the one thing that I've been putting off and putting off is sorting out my little bit in the garden. I've got like this, Martin made me this big sort of trough thing. And I grow lettuce, spinach, kale, just things like that in there. And I haven't tended to it for ages because we were away at my dad's and then the weather was rubbish and because it's rained a lot the lettuce and the spinach has gone mad so I need to sort that out um harvest what I can and um then I'm probably going to pull the rest of it out and I might do another crop I think it's still warm enough to get one maybe one or two more crops this year so we'll see but that's the plan. So I'm going to go get changed, um, have my lunch and then get out in the garden and paperwork this afternoon. So these are the four books that I got from the charity shop. don't know if anyone's read any of them, but I'm looking forward to reading these. They had loads of good ones. I could have got I could have got about eight, but I couldn't carry any more. They were £1.50 each. So really good price and when I finish them I will hand them over to my mum and she can enjoy them. This is my lettuce thing I was telling you about that I need to sort out. You see it's gone crazy um, with the sun and all the rain so I'm gonna sort that out now. So I've had a really productive afternoon actually. I've got my glasses on still. I've been doing um, lots of paperwork and Spanish practice. Um, just to kind of bits and bobs, you know, life admin or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I did finish off the um, trough in the garden, um, but I haven't filmed it. So I will, and I want to edit this video now, so I will show it to you tomorrow, I promise. I'll go out there first thing. Um, it's looking much better. I've got loads and loads of lettuce from it and pulled all the, the old bits up. And that's been a really nice afternoon, actually. Weather's still looking good. I've also managed to make tonight's dinner, and which is fajitas, and tomorrow night's dinner, which is roasted veg with sweet potato. And I've got veggie sausages. Martin's got some chicken because I didn't quite have enough for both of us. And so, yeah, I'm really pleased with how today's gone. And um, again, thanks so much for watching and for subscribing. And we will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.